Open some expert in the motion workspace. Change the import settings so that some experts will create a part for each body. Go to the tools drop down, select options and select CAD import. Select the create a part for each body option box. Set the units to standard units as indicated. Import the parasort file called 4 bar linkage. There are different ways to create motion parts for a model. We can either create a motion part manually or use the advanced option. In the components tab, select part in standard group. Name the part link A, ensure the source of inertia is from geometry. Select the first link and select OK. Still under the components tab in advanced group, select the from geometry tool. Notice that there are only four parts listed as we already created one motion part. Define ground by selecting the option boxes for ground 1 and ground 2. Rename ground 1 and ground 2 to lock 1 and lock 2 respectively. We'll rename link 2 to link C and link 3 to link B. Select OK. In the model browser we find the created motion parts under the components heading. Remember that the ground parts are not motion parts but are still needed to attach the motion parts to in order to analyze the interaction. Now that we have created the motion parts we need to define the connections between the different parts. Select the connections tab. All the joints in the 4 bar linkage system are revolute joints. Select the revolute tool in the connectors group. To make the selection easier, hide the rest of the model so that only the first link and the first ground lug are visible. Name the first connector motion joint. In the part 1 selection box, select the first ground lug. The part 2 selection box will automatically highlight. Select the first link. The attachment option should be one location. Under location 1, select the method drop down and select geometry. The feature selection box will highlight automatically. Select the edge of the hole between the lug and the link. Under orientation 1, select the method drop down and select Z axis only. This will orientate the Z axis of the revolute joint along a user specified direction in a global coordinate system. Ensure that the custom method is selected for axis. Type in 1 in the Y text entry box and type in 0 in the Z text entry box. Select apply. Name the second connector, connector A. Select the first link and then select the second link. Select the edge of the hole between the first and second link for the feature. Select apply. Name the third connector, connector B. Select the second link, followed by the third link. Select the whole edge between the two selected links as the feature. Select apply. Name the last connector, connector C. Select the last link and then the last ground lug. Select the edge of the hole between the last link and the last lug for the feature. Select OK. We can now assign the motion definition to the motion joint. Select the motion tab. Select the joint motion tool. In the joint name selection box, select motion joint. We want to impose a velocity motion to the joint, so we define the motion type to be velocity. In the expression text entry box, type in 90D. This means we are imposing a velocity of 90 degrees per second on the joint. Select OK. Now that we have defined all the motion parts, ground lugs and connectors, we can simulate the model. Select the simulation tab. Select the simulation tool. Set the parameters to 4 seconds, 200 steps and transient simulation. Change the name to rigid sim. Select the animate while simulation option box along with the height when finished. Make sure that the keep results in memory option box is selected. Select the start simulation button. Select the results tab and select the animation tool. Select the play button and slow down the animation. Rotate the model to see the interaction between the bodies. Close the window when done. Now we analyze the center link as a flexible body within the same model. Right click on link B in the model browser and select properties. Select the loads tab. We have to define the connectors which will transfer the loads through the flexible body. In the load bearing geometry selection box of connector A, deselect edges and vertices. Select the inner surface of the link at connector A. Repeat the selection filter for connector B. Select the surface at the connector B. Select the apply. Select the structures tab. Change the material properties. The create new and the user defined option boxes should be selected. Define the mesh size of 3. Check the automate box and select apply. Some experts will switch over to the structures workspace, mesh the body, solve the learning conditions, attach the results and switch back to the motion workspace with the flexible body and the results attached. Select the create flexible part button. After some experts switch back over to the motion workspace we can select the simulation tab. 
select the simulation tool and name the job flex sim. The parameters from the previous simulation will still be defined. Recheck the animate while simulating option box. Run the flex sim simulation. Hide the connections and select the animator tool. Select the play button and slow down the animation. Select the plot data tab and select stress in the result type of box and von Mises for the stress derivation. Close the window and select chart. In the dependent data tab, select rigid sim run. Select link A for the entity. Select X for the quantity. This will plot the displacement data for the first link in the X direction for 4 seconds. Select Add Curves. It is recommended that you try different settings in the chart tool. Now we will add the load to the model and analyze the difference using the chart tool. Select the Forces tab. In the Spring Dampers group, select the Rotational Spring Damper tool. We want to define the spring damper between the last link and the last lag. For part 1, select the last ground lag. Select the last link as part 2. Change the method to geometry and select the edge of the hole at the lag. Change the orientation to Z axis only and define 0, 1, 0. Define a stiffness rate of 1E5 and select OK. Run a new simulation called Force Sim. Plot Force Sim against Flex Sim for Link C's X displacement. This tutorial was proud to brought to you by Estec.